Okay, my good little monkey. Well, uh, this is to try to show you how I'm doing my uh, GoPro videos. So basically, I plugged in the GoPro camera and uh, it downloaded one of the files. And so I'm going to decide to keep the file. Now, after I do that, Jeff, what I do is I have uh, an external hard drive here. Okay, so my external hard drive here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a special folder I put all my Typhoon videos in. And so this is what I do. Uh, um, Maynard. So this is a video of the Maynard house. And I make a subdirectory under there. And then what I do is I make a couple things. I want to hold the originals. Uh, originals. And I want to have a place for it to put the uh, stuff that's going to be called clips. I'll show you what that is in a second. There's my clips. And then I need a place to, to dump my uh, YouTube uh, converted videos that are going to get fired up into YouTube. So when I do the uh, download from the GoPro camera, it puts it into mm -hmm, it puts it into my uh, videos directory. I don't want to do a delete, bad monkey. And so basically, what I do is I then <clears throat> move those into the external hard drive right there. Um, basically, when you copy over your files. Uh, it will open up a uh, GoPro uh, studio. So basically what I want to do is I want to get rid of this clip and I want to uh, use the one on the external hard drive. <clears throat> so that's just about completed. You can see that there. Uh, we're looking at eGoPro Studio Maynard. This is the video of my house in Maynard. I thought you might like that. And the originals uh, were almost done. As you can see, I shoot everything in 4K at the highest resolution possible. I want the best quality I can get, even though YouTube won't uh, display it like that. At least for future, I'll have it, and uh, so that'd be very nice. Okay, uh, we'll pause here just for a second while this completes. Okay, so I think that's uh, completed there. And, uh, uh, all right, pausing. Okay. So you can see that I made uh, three clips. Next step, um, if you look here, I got output just the way I want it. I do a convert all. This will take a while. This is going to convert all the clips so that later I can do an edit and an export. Let's take a look at that now. We'll do the convert. This will take a little while. I'll pause the recording for us, but you can see it's doing the processing here, here, and eventually you'll get down to there. All right, uh, this will take about five, 10 minutes. I'll be back. Step, when it gets to completed is to go into edit and then do the export edit I don't really play much in but it lets you take these clips which is what I'm going to work on from now on and drag them into the movie you can concatenate them together have special effects between transitions and things like that um, so basically so basically uh, we're just waiting for this guy to complete 97 98 99 and Let's go. Watch kettle never boils. Alrighty, we're all completed. Excellent. Now we should do a save. Let's do a save on the project. And we don't want to have it go over there. We want to have it go to the mainer thing. Uh, and we'll call it uh, Ray's house. Uh, I hate this keyboard. Alright, <clears throat> so next step is to go to edit. 
I usually ignore this shit. Let's let you pick some templates and stuff like that. I don't usually care. I don't usually drag the clips together. The important thing is now the clips have been put over to here. So once the export is completed, then uh, no problem. The export just finished, and we're all set. So I can take that file and copy it up to YouTube.